Comedies don't often make me laugh anymore. I can't really remember the last comedy that came out that really, really hit me like a good gut punch, you know, just where I'm, I'm laughing till I'm in tears, where I'm crying laughing. Uh, it just doesn't happen anymore, man. It's sad. Like, I, I can't... Nothing is coming to mind. Wow. Um, when a movie can do that, though, an airplane, uh, or like a naked gun, or a road to Morocco, or something like that, where I will laugh consistently every time and laugh really hard every time at jokes I've heard a hundred times. That is a special movie. One such movie, which I discovered a few years ago, but it's quite a bit older than that. Hot Rod. This is my uh, Hot Rod Pop Star uh, two-pack. Pop Star is a good movie too. Pop Star never stop, never stopping. Uh, not as good as uh, Hot Rod, but uh, it's still a very fun movie. Uh, Hot Rod is a Lonely Island production, uh, starring Andy Samberg. The Lonely Island, they they do. I mean, everybody's seen the music videos, Dick in a Box, and. Uh, uh, Captain Jack Sparrow and I'm on a boat. Uh, I love those guys. They're they're hilarious. Andy Samberg is great on Brooklyn Nine Nine. And so one day, I come across an article of underrated comedies, and Hot Rod was on it. And I thought I, I kind of remember the trailer for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then it was at the video store one day, and I went, all right, I'm watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I like Andy Samberg. I like Little Lonely Island. Let's go ahead and rent this movie. There were moments in this movie where I couldn't breathe, where I was laughing so hard that I, I couldn't hear what was happening in the movie anymore. That And the... the the jokes that really land in this movie land with such a punch that I every time I laugh at them for the absurdity and the audacity it's just it's such a funny movie um, Andy Samberg plays a character named Rod he grew up idolizing his dad who died uh, before he got to know him, his dad was a stuntman. And so Rod wants to be a stuntman. And so he rides around on his little uh, motor scooter doing, trying, trying to do jumps and stuff like that with his little crew um, with uh, Danny McBride and Bill Hader. And I, oh, I wish I could see. The thing is, I, I, I know one of the guys on the Lonely Island is Akiva something. I can't remember the name of the other guy, uh, but he plays Andy Samberg's younger stepbrother. And they have this little crew and they do go around doing jumps and stuff. And most of the time, Andy Samberg hurts himself. Um, and then one day, uh, uh, two kind of things coincide. One is the return of his childhood crush, uh, who he wants to impress, and he gets her to join the, the crew. And the other is he finds out that his stepfather is dying. And 
he and his stepfather kind of hate love each other. They're, they're constantly fighting. And when I say fighting, I mean beating each other with bats and, uh, you know, attacking each other ruthlessly. There's a part where his father, his stepfather pulls out ninja stars. Um, because the, the stepfather wants to, wants Andy Samberg to become a man. He wants him to be a man. And Andy Samberg wants to prove he's a man. And he usually gets his, he gets his ass kicked every time. But he finds out his stepfather is dying. And so he wants to raise money to save his stepdad, to get him the surgery that he can't afford uh, because he's determined to get him better so that he can kick his ass. And the movie just, there are jokes in it that don't sound funny. There's a part in it where he, he needs to go out into the woods uh, in order to uh, dance out his, his frustration and anger like Kevin Bacon and Footloose. And it starts off just like that. And, you know, he's doing backflips and everything. And then he just, one wrong foot, and he starts falling down a hill. And falling. And falling. And falling. And then, you, you know, you cut to, you know, a wide shot. And him just tumbling down this cliff. And it goes on and on and on. And I'm, I'm at first chuckling. Ah, he fell. And then I'm laughing, and then I'm tears, and like, I can't breathe, my, my side aches. And then it just keeps going and keeps going, but it knows the exact moment to stop, right before it would stop being funny, right before you'd be like, move along, move along. It, it nails that perfect spot to end the joke. The movie is ridiculous. It is just, it is, it's silly um, plot, plot. Uh, it has a structure to it, as all good comedy should. Um, there's a structure to it. There is a story. But the story is just there to hang the jokes on, uh, to hang these set pieces that these enormously talented comedians can really shine it's, it's also a gentler movie than I'm making it sound like. This is not like an R-rated uh, dick and joke, or dick and fart movie where, you know, it's, you know, sex and swearing and stuff. That can be funny. But when a movie can really doesn't have to rely on making me laugh with, oh my God, I can't believe they said that. When it can rely on cleverness and only cleverness to me those are the jokes that hold up the best uh, a good r-rated joke will you know it might get me to laugh really hard the first time but it's not going to hold up once that shock value wears off it's not going to hold up i've watched hot rod four or five times i laugh just as hard every single time there is a a underdog sweetness to this movie you like the characters I don't think there's a weak link in the cast uh, and you laugh hysterically throughout now I'm about to give it a rating and I want to say that the, the preface to the, the rating is I'm judging this as a comedy, not as an overall movie. But as a comedy, this is a five-star film. This would easily make my top ten list for my favorite comedies. I've watched this with other people who break down laughing the whole time. As a comedy, it is, in my opinion, a classic. Is it Citizen Kane? Is it The Godfather? Is it everybody always goes there? No, it's not. That's a different, whole other kind of a movie. 
judging this as a comedy, this is a five-star movie. I would recommend it to everybody if you like silly humor. Um, definitely if you like Andy Samberg and the Lonely Island guys. This is a great, fun, uh, uh, entertaining, and slightly heartwarming and inspiring movie. I believe it is on Amazon Prime right now for free. The DVD is out of print. I actually paid a lot of money for that DVD. But I paid it because it was worth it. It's given me much enjoyment. I would recommend this movie to anybody. Go find it. Go seek it out. It is one of the funniest movies that you're going to see ever. Sort of gave myself the challenge of, okay.